our today's story is the needle tree. The moral we will learn from this story is that it's important to be kind and merciful as it will always be rewarded. Once upon a time, there were two brothers. They lived near a forest. The oldest brother was always unkind to his younger brother. Every day, the oldest brother was going to the forest in search for firewood. He was collecting firewood and then selling them in the market. One day, he was cutting the branches of trees until he came upon a magical tree. The tree stopped him before he chopped its branches and said, Oh dear kind sir, can you can you please spare my branches? If you spare me, I will provide you with golden apples. The oldest brother agreed. Then he was feeling disappointed by the number of apples. The tree gave him as he became greedy. The big brother threatened to cut the entire tree. If it didn't give him with more apples, but rather of giving him more apples, the tree became angry and showered him with hundreds of tiny needles. The brother fell to the ground and start crying with pain. Soon the sun began to set. The younger brother became worried and went to search for his older brother. He searched until he found him at the trunk of the tree, lying in pain with hundreds of needles on his body. He rushed to him and started to remove the needles from him. Once he removed the needles, the oldest brother apologized for treating his younger brother so badly. The magical tree also saw the change in the older brother's heart. The magical tree then gifted them with all the golden apples they could ever need. The moral we have learned from this is that it's important to be kind and merciful as it will always be rewarded and also do not get greedy. I hope you have enjoyed our today's story. Our quiz for today is what country are the pyramids in? The answer is Egypt. Pyramids were built mostly of limestone. The oldest and largest pyramid is the Great Pyramid of Giza. The pyramids of Egypt are all built to the west of the Nile River. The base of a pyramid was always a perfect square. I hope you have learned something new today. Please make sure that you like, subscribe and share our videos. Remember our fundraising furniture is still open and you can find the link down below. I will see you tomorrow with a new story. Bye bye.